Here we have a set of ordered pairs, 3, 2, and minus 2, 2. So if we were to plot those, we would go to 3 on the x-axis and 2 on the y-axis, and where those cross up, we have the dot 3, 2. And then the dot minus 2, 2. So we go to the left 2 and up 2, and there we go. There's that dot. Now this is interesting. This time, our dots lie on this horizontal line. So we could draw this horizontal line that goes through these two dots. And if we were to try to find the slope, what we would find is that we don't rise any, we just run. So if we did this rise over run thing, our rise would be zero, and our run would be any number we want. It could be one or two or three or four, but if we count actually from this dot to this dot, it would actually be five. And whenever we have zero on top and anything else on bottom, that value is actually zero. So we find that we have a slope of zero. We would find the same thing if we used the slope formula. Labeling these dots again, x1, y1, x2, y2, we would find 2 minus 2 over negative 2 minus 3. So 0 over negative 5, or in other words, 0, as we stated earlier. Now this is always going to be true for horizontal lines. All horizontal lines have a slope of zero. Those things go together. And another thing about horizontal lines is that their equation form will never have an x in it. And here's why. If I went y equals mx plus b and plugged in zero for m, then that term just goes away. And so I wind up with just y equals whatever the y value is for all of the dots on this line, well, every one of these dots is going to have a y value of 2. So the equation of this line is y equals 2. So horizontal lines have a slope of 0, and there won't be any x in the equation. It'll just be y equals whatever that value is. Here's another set of ordered pairs, negative 2, 5, and negative 2, 1. So if we were to plot those, we'd have this dot minus 2, 5, and this dot minus 2, 1. And we could draw a line that goes through these dots. And we find that this time we have a vertical line. And if we were to try to find the slope, let's do that using the slope formula. We would call this dot x1, y1, and this one x2, y2. Plug the values in, and we'd have 1 minus 5 over minus 2 minus negative 2. So we'd have minus 4 over 0. Now this then is undefined. Whenever we have something other than 0 on the top, and 0 on the bottom, that value is undefined. And if we were to try to use our rise over run thing here, we would find that we would rise, so we would have value in the top, but we don't run any. We don't go left or right to get from one dot to the next on this line. So we have this run of 0. So the slope here is undefined. Now this is something we're going to find about all vertical lines. All vertical lines have an undefined slope. And the equation will never have a y in it. It'll always be x equals some value, and that'll be whatever the x value is for all of the dots on this line, which in this case is minus 2. We can see here minus 2, minus 2, and every other dot on that line is going to have an x value of minus 2.